Greetings, aliens. Welcome back to the boat ship. I am the Monitor Alien, your host today for the alien invasion. That was called the Millennial Pause, apparently. I don't understand it. I don't know what it means. Uh, and if it's a big deal for you, you need to find something else to do. We're going to be playing some more Bloodstained today. Day two of Spooktober. I've been having a great time so far. I hope you guys have too. Mintwolf81, thank you so much for your follow. And Charles VZ, thank you so much for your follow the other day. Look forward to talking to you guys soon. Groucho Marks, redeeming the first today. Congratulations, Groucho. Hi, Med, Mr. Med. Easy on the Mr. stuff. I'm not that old. I mean, I am, but I don't think I am, so. I don't really have much to say today. Other than dashing wasn't that bad. For once. <laughs> uh, I actually had a decent morning today. Lyle's off today. And uh, so she's here puttering around, doing her schoolwork. Charles VZ, welcome in. Love that emote. That is awesome. Um, good to see you. Great to have you here. Um, hope you will be able to stick around and pull up a chair and hang out with us today. Called me Mr. Groucho in my stream, you monkey. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but you, you've earned it. You've earned it. You are the senior. Guys, we hit a 90 follower goal uh, the other day. So now we are pushing for 100. Rebuilding the alien crew. This has been... Um, this has been a, a big ride. Um... Hey man, how are you? What are you up for today? I am playing some Bloodstain today, and I am looking forward to continuing the playthrough we started the other day. Um, Bloodstain is one of my favorites. It's a great Metroidvania. Uh, very, very closely spirited to Symphony of the Night, um, which is, I think, one of the classic staples of gaming if you haven't played it highly recommend that one um but koji igarashi is the creator of the bloodstained series um and he did a lot of the old platforming castlevania games before they got all 3d and and the new age stuff that's not not it's good it's just not the same you know so We're not doing lunch today. <laughs> I just have some combos and I'm going to enjoy a little snack. I don't even have any beer. I ran out of beer. It kind of dulls the mood a little bit, but hey, whatever. Looking forward to it? Well, I'm glad. Stick around and hang out. And back seating is just fine in here. No problem with it. Um, I don't really know what else to do today. I just, I've got everything set up and ready to go. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Let me get this thing started up here. Mm -hmm. I have it on the Xbox, so I had to bring it in here, hook it all up on the car, on the, uh, Capture card. Looks like you're doing it feeding your face. Oh, yeah. I'm always feeding my face with something. I feed my mouth with snackos and feed my brain with books. All's the knowledge. You gotta love how long it takes these things to load up. Like you would think in modern day technology, it wouldn't be that hard, but nope. Load times, load times, load times. You know, PC, it's just like done. 
you know, unless it's um, unless it's Space Marine Two. Brand new game, love it. Gameplay is definitely worth the wait, but some of the load, longest load times I've ever seen. Hey, brother, for the Emperor, hope you're go, hope you're good. Absolutely doing great. Welcome, NV17. Always fantastic to see you. How'd um, how'd everything go with you last night? I I had cut out for this game. You need to be online. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Just a sec. Canadian Bacon Gaming, what's up, my friend? How are you doing? Oh, phone call. Hold on one second. Ah, that is best friend Mikey. He said, my wife and kids are out of the house, so I figured I would call and say hi. <laughs> Very sweet of him. Oh, look at that. We got a fortune teller from Canadian Megan. Should I quit my job and move to the wilderness to raise my family like a pack of feral beasts? All right, hold on one second. Mickey 0070A. I swear to God. <laughs> if any of my mods have never met you before, they're going to ban you for being a bot instantly. <laughs> Mickey, welcome in. Good to see you. Absolutely best friend. Not just only best friend, always best friend. All right, let's see here. Any answer other than yes is wrong? Well, I will tell you this, Bacon. This, this, um, this question block has never lied, ever. So whatever answer it gives you, I'm sorry, I'll let me turn the game down here a little bit. There we go. Um, whatever answer this cube gives you, I guarantee you it will be the right answer. So, hmm, fine, okay. Okay, great question block. Canadian Bacon Gaming has asked, should he quit his job, move to the wilderness, and raise his family like a pack of feral beasts? My reply is no. Maybe not the wilderness. Maybe not the wilderness. Maybe just like right outside of town. It's just close enough that people will think you're weird. Eh? Eh? Because if you go way, way out, <laughs> God damn it, I'll go back to work, I guess, then. No, no, by all means, I, I think, I think it would be cooler if you did it just outside of town. Because if you really go out in the wilderness, people are like, oh, they're going off the grid. That's, that's acceptable. You know, that's becoming... Uh, a new norm, right? But if you do it on the edge of town and you kind of have a Yoda hut thing going on and you grow, you know, get that beard nice and real fuzzy, yeah, people will be like that crazy hermit out there on the edge of town. Ooh, that's what you're going for, right? <laughs> Maybe it was the feral beast part. I can move, but we have to be civilized. Eh. I mean, it's, it's, 
it's preferable. <laughs> but you don't have to be. For personal experience, no. Yeah, Mikey lives, uh, Mikey's a little bit off the grid. And, uh, I don't, I know he loves it. <laughs> but I know he's also got some issues. Anyway, it's great to see you all in here today. Let's play some Bloodstained. Mickey's Feral got it. <laughs> but he's still civilized enough to come on and, uh, <laughs> to come on and say hi. Quit, go live your life, I believe in you. Hey, look at that. V17 says go for it. I don't think there's a wrong answer here. You do you, man. Though my plan, if crap hits the fan, is to move my family to property we own that is in the middle of nowhere with absolutely no cell service. Though in that case, there would be no electricity. Oh, well. It, those are, these are things that you have to... You have to make choices and live with it. So, the last time we played, we beat the first two bosses, and we did get both of them in our first attempt, which was kind of surprising for the second one, to be honest. Because Zangetsu is an absolute pain in the ass. Despite the fact that he's one of my allies, he's also one of the hardest bosses. Thank you very much, Bacon, for your fortune teller redeem. I always love it when you guys find fun things to to do in here. Um, there is a new sound alert redeem, uh, channel point redeem, um, for when you guys get rowdy and want to use it. I've decided I'm going to start putting up some cat achievements for you guys. And each time you guys get one of those, I'd like to shout out the group as a whole. Oh god, no! Oh my god, this... Oh, they're a pain in the ass. I hate them. I hate them so much. If you want to get started, get yourself some chickens. Most city ordinance allow for hens. Well, I'm glad they allow for hens, because they certainly don't allow for goats. And I could really use some help mowing the lawn. <laughs> Really? He's just gonna stand there and be like, ah, ha, ha, you can't hit me. Okay, I am poisoned. I don't want to be poisoned. Do I have... No, I don't. Well, that sucketh. I guess we'll just have to wait it out. I actually should probably get, um some antidote from the mobs that poisoned me. Oh no, not you again! Easily grass. They're starting to keep the grass down by my chicken coop. Might have to try that. I don't know, Farmville's weird. Damn you. Oh, wasted my fireball. All in all, I like food delivery way too much to move into the woods. I'll stick to camping. Nah, yeah, that's fair. I like to go out with the family camping once a year. More than that, I'm good. <laughs> oh my god. I don't suck at this game, I promise. <laughs> totally suck at this game. Oh! 
So, interesting thing about these portraits. Most of these portraits are... Uh, revised images of some of the crowdfund supporters and developers of the game. country, got married, moved to the city, then moved back. Took a little to get used to. Not having a grocery store. Uh, yeah. That's, that's... I've never been super away from the grocery store. Oh my god! Why can't I do this? I have never taken this much damage in two rooms before. can and can't go in this room. It's because I called. I can call you again if it would fix it. <laughs> Probably won't pick up that one. <laughs> Everybody gets one. I think this is the barber. It is a demon. Wait, What'd you expect? I'm a good killer barber. <laughs> Butchers and cutthroats all say as much. Uh, I'm not a cutthroat. I've never cut anyone. Uh, well, 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 I have, but, but it's these scissors. They've cursed me to become a demon. Then why not cast them aside? Cast them aside? <laughs> if I could take them off, I wouldn't be cursed. Dark. Evil kitty. Yeah. The cat? are not the worst there's two there's two. there might actually be three variants of the cat the the dogs are actually the ones that are a pain in the butt because it's it's just like a gigantic dog head on a chain and it's like it's like the chain chomps in mario like it comes after you it's a pain in the butt the name's todd and the only way my curse will be lifted is if I barber my way through 666 different hairstyles. Well, why not just make the hairstyles up then? Lop a little off here or there? Ah, there's a penalty for sloppy lopping. If I do lappy lappy. good haircuts, the scissors... I feel like some more Hammer 40k dialogue is just like this. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of curses. You have the worst curse ever. Yes, quite literally, yes. Please, can you help me find information about hairstyles? I'll catch you for free. That is not an enticing offer. No, 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 not, not cut you. <laughs> cut it. Uh, wait, what are you even worried about? You look like you could rip me into a hundred pieces. Hmm. Fair enough. I really could. All right, you have a deal. And she's so modest about it, too. <sighs> so, miss, shall I take a little off the top? What do we have in the catalog? Literally nothing. So you have to find these styles around the, uh, around the castle. We can play with color, though. Uh, 
I like blue. There we go. There we go. There's some Mediterranean mothership themed hair. Oh, hello there. You want to say hi? It's supposed to be nap time, but it's not. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. No, don't push the button. Just say hi. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. You got it. Oh, no. Mom's going to take you and put you down for a nap. <laughs> He's a sweet kid. He's a super sweet kid. Oh, no. What did I do? I fucked it up. I'm good at that. My wife is nodding. Thank you for the support. I love you. The hair looked good. Now it's getting. There we go. All right. Confirm. Costume. All right. Let's see here. What can we do with this? I like green. Green's cool. Ooh, like a mint color. That would be fun. Mint green and well, like a see, so chose the salamander chapter. <laughs> yes, indeed. I do like salamanders, but I think I'm a big fan of the imperial fists. And by proxy, Black Templars. Like, Rogaldorn is my guy. Mint green and brown. I like that. That's nice. That's what his favorite ice cream flavor is. <laughs> Chocolate chip mint. <laughs> We could sit here all day and just play around with looks. Here. Bright red. There we go. I like it. Ooh, we could do eyeshadow. I don't care about eyeshadow. The look suits you fine. Is that orc green or salamander green? I think it's more salamander green. Nah, it's not Shrek green. No, it's not Shrek. Really enjoying the lore for Dark Angels. Haha, <laughs> Dork Angels. Sorry. <laughs> you do you, man. You do you. You can like whichever chapter you want. Dork Angels. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not here to offend. Dark angels. the save room. I think it's actually the top room there. Oh wait, no it's not. No it's not. No it's not. It's a 
totally different room, but we're going in it anyway. Ooh, books. Still not as bad as the word bearers. <laughs> No. There are some pretty loser chapters. Not gonna lie. Oh, okay. That's the, uh... That's the teleport room. I've been looking in lately to the... Strictly brand new Primaris chapters. So, Ultima Founding. And some of them are really freaking cool. Yeah. <laughs> you got me in a corner on that one. No, I don't want to deal with the sword yet. Fuck. Angel's life. Hello. Welcome in. Good to see you. You enjoy your lurk. We'll be here. If you are enjoying us on the drive or at work or, or while you complete other tasks, we appreciate you being here. So we'll just go ahead and do all of that all over. That's cool. That's cool. I'm really blowing it this afternoon. Hey. I did not do this bad the other day. You know what? I gotta put this thing away. I, ca I can't use this right now. Let's see. 21, 23. Is that a one hand sword? Yes. Yep, we're going to do this. The two-hander has its place, but it's just too slow. Enjoy how there's a bit of a rift between the Primaris and Standard Marines. I'm, after playing Space Marine 2, I don't know if it's just just the marines in Isaac James 96 welcome in thanks for joining the invasion good to see you I don't know if it's just the the marines in Space Marine 2 or if it's all primaries but it seems to me that the firstborn have a little bit more humility. Um, the Primaris really have an arrogant streak to them. Like, yes, they're definitely bigger, stronger, faster than your than your common firstborn Space Marines, but they. They kind of like to talk about it, too. Like, there's an arrogant streak in them, from what I've seen. No, small human is not harassing me. He's just sitting there being very quiet and nice and a joy to be around.
my god! I thought I had killed it. Oh well. I think it's a natural progression of how different the Marines are from humanity. Most act like humans or subpar. I don't, uh, well, I don't know about that. I mean, there, there are some very... Wait! Yep, 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 yep. Blah, 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 blah. We got it. We got it. We got it. Okay. No, no, no. All right. I'll switch my... I'll switch my look another time. But you're playing the wrong game for us to talk about 40k? Oh no! You can always talk about 40k. I mean... There's nothing wrong with talking about Warhammer. Everybody should be into Warhammer. If you're not into Warhammer, get into Warhammer. See, I'm a big lore guy, and I think that's... That's where my love for 40k is. Forty K has plenty of lore to play with. The point in the lore that Salamander's regard for humanity is a unique trait. Um Yes. I think the I think the Salamanders is an extreme case of having Uh, what's having like a good relationship with humanity but there are plenty of chapters that view humanity as I mean that really their 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 purpose like they serve the emperor but they serve the emperor in the interest of humanity and the Imperium, and most of them accept that duty and understand that duty. Uh, some really what sword I'm looking for. Some really work with humans on a better level. Others, you know, obviously they just... They see humanity as a burden and all that kind of thing, which... You know, from a lore standpoint, it exists as... And maybe there's there's people out there that would agree with that. Uh, but I mean, the Space Marines are, are created to be the greatest defenders of humanity. And if they don't understand that, then they're not good space marines. Okay, this is craft work. Um, let's see, do I want... I want big... Big, big. Big, big, big. Okay, that's the best weapon I've got. Uh, let's see. I don't want to lose that much defense. Um... 
just want to make sure that I'm... Ooh. Nah, I don't want to lose that much attack. The safe ring is really, like, the worst damn thing. Okay, right now I'm at 32... Let's see, he is going to... Fireball's probably best. I'm not using a dagger, but whatever. Don't have a familiar yet. This will be my first manipulative. Yep, I win. Our card ons, they're just out there even for a marine. Yeah, they're... It was, um, I think the reason for that is they were, they were started searching for other thematic chapters other than the Space Wolves that just kind of did their own thing. Because they're just straight weird. <laughs> Like, they'll genocide whole planets in the interest of saving the planet. Like, that's just... There's another one. Nope. Ah. Oh, shit. Box, my friend. Hey! No, no! Don't take it! No! No! Oh, I needed that. I needed that. I needed that. story of how they made an elder go mad from their silence. I can't remember if it was Chaos Eldar. Oh, Eldar. Made an Eldar go mad from their silence. Uh, Dark Eldar. I know what you're talking about. Also, that enemy is very similar to the one from Medieval. I haven't played Medieval, so I'm not sure which one you're talking about. Yeah! Now I gotta remember how to use this. Ah, there we go. So, the reason I needed that, um... That block is so that I could stand on it so I could get up there. Because there is... a thing up there. There's another shard up there that I really would have liked to have gotten. You know what? I want to try that again. There's no loading, is there? Can I load from a save room? I want to try that again. I want to try that fight again. 
save progress? No. I guess I gotta go back to the title screen. Whatever. That's fine. It's a fun and funny game full of sarcasm. The first enemy was also made from stained glass. Ah, I gotcha. I gotcha. Sorry, I just want to try that again. I really need I, it's not imperative that I have it oh shit wrong weapon damn it Actually, this might work out better. It just means I have to come back up here later when I have a double jump and do it the hard way. Music is also familiar. It should be. The spiritual succession to the Castlevania franchise is just... It's beautiful. Whoa there, Turbo. Oh, come on. There we go. So, if you remember last time, we were... ...in the garden. And we had a... We had a block that we couldn't move. Well, now we will be able to move it. Creepy eye painting for so long. Like, I thought that this was actually going to be something. Like, it would do something. And it doesn't. It's just an eyeball that moves around in a painting. There's absolutely nothing special about this hallway. I need to do another full Legacy of Cain play playthrough. Oh man, I haven't played Legacy of Cain in so long. What a great game. So basic, but so fun.
Oh, I missed a candle. Oh well. Really? He's already dead, but thanks anyway. I think my sword's a little slow. <laughs> Was really good didn't appreciate it when i was younger but man were they on point yes they were the garden. This is where we fought Zangatsu. What a fight. I mean, it's actually a really good fight. But it is so hard. peaceful time here at home. Sunday's getting to be a really good dash day. I don't know what's up with that. Like, it didn't used to be that way. Does it keep the same style and storyline? Like, for a reboot or continuation? Uh, you might get that. Legacy of Kane is, is one of those games that I think deserves and probably will get a remake at some point. If they can remake Kingdoms of Amalur, they can remake Legacy of Kane. I make the cringy face at, at Kingdoms of Amalur, not because I thought it was a bad game. Yo, how's it going? Space Robot Arm, welcome in. It's going pretty good today. We're having a good time, I think. Do you have a good time this weekend? I needed mocha oil. And there it is. Ha ha! Wasn't it nice when things worked out? Maybe I didn't, actually. I think I needed it so that I could make fries, but then I got fries for free. As much as I appreciate some of these games and all that they do, like, there are way too many games now that want you to cook or blend or... Uh, craft in some way all of the little items that you need throughout the game it's like I'm, and, and don't get me wrong i'm i'm okay with that in in some cases it just seems like it's becoming a little too popular thank you sword okay i'm sorry i called you stupid sword okay 
I will never call this sword bad again. This it's actually been amazing. I never use the sword. They must have done something in a recent update. No complaints. Doing pretty well. On paternity leave, just trying to keep baby happy. Very nice, very nice. Very happy for you. Is it, it, I don't think I've ever heard you discuss it before. Um, hey, is this your first? You're no, but you, it's nothing new for you then. But they're always, they're always fun. They're always fun when they're little. <gasps> Three boys now? Hell yeah, you're on your way. I like boys. They're easy. <laughs> and my wife agrees. We wouldn't have we wouldn't have any idea what to do with a daughter. None. Five boys now. Five boys. And I can't imagine. Like, you think five boys are rowdy and loud? I can't imagine what it would be like if they were girls. <laughs> I remember when my sister and I were young, like, she fought dirty. Like, at least with boys, it's like, it's an honest, like, knockout fight. With girls, I mean, like, the subversion is just incredible. So here's a little, um, here's a little Easter egg in this game. It really serves no purpose at all. Like, serves literally no purpose. Just is there. But it is kind of fun. Um... Actually, I will come back and do this again when I have a different familiar because that one takes it even further. So this is actually like kind of a variant on the theme of the game, like the opening theme. It's, it, uh, it's really cool I put it in here. I was gonna ask if you've played this before. <laughs> you sound like that's a yes. <laughs> Oh no, I know nothing. I've just watched videos. <laughs> yeah, I've, I love this game. I've, I've played through it a couple times. Um, there are several different... Like any good, uh, more recent Castlevania style. Um, there are a couple different endings, and I have not done all of them. Oh, 
caramba. Where were you on that one, sword? Are you playing games? No, mom, I'm playing the beast. <laughs> And then I felt so bad for looking it up that I never finished the game fully. I do think it's a game, a great game though. I'll finish it someday. Well, I, it is, it is a really great game. And I kind of like, I understand your sentiment. I've never, I've never felt that way about it because I had to look it up the first time too. Um, But I do, I do, I kind of understand where you're coming from. Um, stick around, hang out. Mm, you'll be able to see the end. Probably not today, though. <laughs> no, this, this is a... I don't know, you could probably put... I think you could easily put... Probably 60 hours into, a, into this. Really good. I wouldn't say full completionist, and you could probably do a completionist run much faster than that, but for me, I'd say I'd probably take about 60, 70 hours. I can't get up there yet. I need double jump to get up there. Who sticks? How long have I gone on this run? Uh, 22 hours on that playthrough. That, and that's another one I'm working on currently. Um, wait, December 12th, 2019. Wait, what? Holy shit. My date is so far off. Fifteen hours, forty four minutes on that one. Okay, so maybe not fifty hours. Fifty hours might be pushing it. No big deal. We'll be coming back through here again. A crit ring.
complaints whatsoever about the soundtrack of this game. It's really bothering me that my date, my console's date and time is so far off. I'm assuming it reset when, when uh, oh. Reset when I unplug the jacket in here. But now my OCD is all right. Exactly. travel as long as we set our calendars at the same time to whatever date we wish to live in. Hey, yeah, we could. I mean, it certainly wouldn't change uh, anything about the world we live in, but we could certainly call it a different date. You know what we could also do? I'd love 
love to say on Twitch, and I just can't. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Though the past has some issues, I think we're about to have some issues in the future, too. <laughs> Mostly because of the issues of the past. Because we just don't seem to learn from our mistakes very well, do we? is whatever uh, time period we, we want to be. And everyone will just have to accept it. Because if it's my personal truth... Everyone has to go along with it. stream. scream louder 
I know, I know not of this Jarl, but he has many of these chariots and must not miss one. <laughs> If I would take anything from Jarl Jeep, but I would definitely, definitely take something from Jarl Hummer. I'm actually really sad. Do, you, do, you, do any of you guys remember? Um, there was a prototype uh, V6 Hummer. Uh, years ago, before they shut the division down, and it never got a production model. Like they showed it off at shows, they were like, "Yeah, this is next year." It was called the HX, and it had literally everything that Hummer comes standard with, but it was a smaller V6 that they demonstrated going up a 60 degree grade. It was awesome. Um, and they did not put it into production. The prototype was beautiful. It, it was, it was gonna be my thing. Like I was gonna fork over the money for this thing. And they didn't put it into production. It was so upset. So I bought a Toyota Yaris instead. <laughs> Which I have to admit was a really good car. I loved that Yaris. It was a great car right up until my wife hit it. Let me think. We need to get to the other side of this, and then we need to go... We're gonna go to the top door. Yeah, top door. Hey! Mama must have fallen asleep. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah! Hold on just a second. that sells body kits to make most SUVs into a Hummer. The more recalls I'm seeing, the more I'm tempted to use a junk vehicle as a base for a custom-built one. That's fair. That's fair. Like, that would be, that could be fun. You just, you would end up getting a junk title, too, because you still have to declare the vehicle as what it originally was, sadly. I know what I did. Leave me alone. So 
if I get one of these little fairies as a familiar, I can actually... There we go. So I was saying if I got a different familiar for the piano, if I use the the Karabos as a, as a familiar, she actually, um, like, sits on the piano like a lounge singer <laughs> and sings. Oh, no, it's a shard. It's, uh, this one. There we go. singing that. <laughs> hey! Uh, you know, plenty of guys that sing that high. I don't entirely agree with it, but whatever. <laughs> I was almost certain that there was... I guess it doesn't matter. No, there's not. Not there. It's a different hallway. Don't listen to me. I know what I'm talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about, but I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Was good, you? I had a very nice, relaxing weekend. I enjoyed my weekend. Here at the house. A smoothie. I'm gonna farm this guy for a minute. Because he drops uh, the beast milk that I need for a recipe. Unfortunately, the beast milk uh, is kind of a rare drop. Spooktober. And what are you playing for Spooktober? There's my beast milk. Ooh. Yes. I forgot I got rent from this guy. I need that too. He 
doesn't give a lot of XP, but I think if we farm it enough, well, I mean, of course we farm it enough, but I think relatively quickly, we might get another level up out of this, too. What I really want is the beast belt. gets a level up. Ooh. Good for you, Sora. Actually, the sword's been really helpful this run. <laughs> Actually, I'm not going to be mean to the sword. Come on. One more beast milk. to glitch sometimes and like their top half and their bottom half will stretch and it's especially bad during their death animation but it's kind of hilarious starts in this area. This is where... This is where you're gonna get to see James E.B. 
not so PG. <laughs> Dardoon res With the unicorn oh, damn it, come on. Alright. You get ten minutes of the Jamesy unicorn. Oop, I got it on backwards. There we go. There we go. Unicorn Jamesy. My horn is bent. Bent my horn. I'm horny. <laughs> Thank you for redeeming the universe. Bless America. Thank you for redeeming the unicorn, Dardoon. You guys are on fire today. I'm liking all these redeems. I love it when you guys get spicy. It's funny, see, my wife actually bought this for her. Really? You can block a fireball? Don't sit on it. Oh yeah, can't block that. Death from above, bitch. Tell me I can't get that. Okay, I did get it. All right. So Mithridate is like my... Oh, no! I thought I could stand on that. No! Oh, well. kill things without the attitude, okay? gonna uh, head on through the door because I'm not trying to be here all day. now. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. You get in the groove, you can get it. You just gotta, you gotta hit the first stride.
All right, let's see. We got we got some new stuff here. Unicorn ring is gonna help magic wise. Critical ring doesn't actually help stats. It just gives me a better chance for a critical hit. Traverser's ring increases my attack based on how much of the map I have explored. So it's not really as much helpful now as it will be later in the game. Uh, that's got some darkness resist on it. Why would you have darkness resist on sunglasses? Wouldn't it be light resist? Whatever. Shut up, James. You're questioning Ega, and that is not allowed. Ooh. I like that. I like that. What else have we got? Kung Fu Vest. I don't think we can say no to that. I'm losing a little bit of luck. This is... This is all good things. All good things. I don't want to lose two attack for one defense. Oh, that though. We'll definitely take that. Ooh, cat ears. Okay, so anyone who's an anime fan, <laughs> I don't know how you feel about Elf and Lead. I watched this anime for the first time. And like the first episode, like the first two minutes of the first episode, this chick breaks out of a containment unit uh, and with her mind like flings pin pins like ink pins at people like stabbing them to death uh, blows up their heads like explodes heads with her with her mind and it's just what why can't I use it an enchanted sword with a potential to grow stronger. Well, I want to. Huh? Interesting. I'm not sure I understand why I can't use it. Probably some... I think this is the... Yeah, those are both two-handed. That's... I will use this. the voice changer. <laughs> I love it! Oh, that's awesome! Oh, wait a minute. I can get over there and get that. I forgot about that. I can get over there and get that. Because more life is always a good thing. I like more life. Do you guys like more life? Okay, I'm not gonna get over this. <laughs> Apparently, uh, they put helium in my mask. That's kind of funny. It's... Okay, it's not kind of funny, it's hilarious. Annoying 
as hell after a little while. There's a... Uh... So, one of the weapon types in this game is boots. Like, there's actually... weaponized boots. Um, and one of the variants is called toy shoes. And they squeak with every step. And I love using them because it annoys my oldest son to no end for me to use these. <laughs> They're not the hardest hitting. They actually, they do a pretty decent amount of damage. But they're not the hardest hitting, but it's definitely worth it to annoy the crap out of people. safe room and one of them is oh shit <laughs> it's gonna change the dialogue too i can't i'm dead <laughs> all right we're gonna go back to being normal jamesy now which is still just as just as weird as Unicorn Jamesy, but it's a different kind of weird. Well, well. Look at all the shards you've amassed. How does it feel to command the power of demons? It feels like nothing. Just power. And so long as I'm in control of it, human power. You're a fool if you think you can soak up that much of their devil tree and still call yourself human. Again, to you or them. Huh. Never say never, Miriam. I have you now, Chibble. The Libra Nogaith belongs to me, and I shall see it returned. How are you still even alive? I take no orders from a dead man walking! <laughs> and now you die. My next attack will not miss. Why do I feel like this should be a chipmunk game show? Chipmunk game now? You know what would be really cool? I'd love to see like an Alvin and the Chipmunks like actual like Metroidvania adventure style game. That would be cool. So I must. You are lucky, old man. Oh, lost him. Alfred, I won't let you use the Lieber Logaya to plunge the world into. I must give chase while the trail is still fresh. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I've ever used the voice changer, and if I have, I don't remember it doing this. That's just too good. Okay, that's not here either. I could have sworn one of these was a save room. This is the one I've always used, the hyperventilator. I need the double jump to get up there. And the storyline wants me to go the other way, so... Okay, yes. 
yes, the next area it wants me to go to is... Yes, double jump. You gotta, you gotta kind of, sometimes it takes a minute to just kind of like remember where you're going and where each thing is. And... I know I can hit it. There we go. All that for 10 gold. Here's the save room. So while we're on the save room, we're gonna pause the game here for just a second. Do 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 do. Okay, we're gonna have a fun little segment here, real quick. And this segment is the part where. I talk with you guys about you guys. First of all, and when I say that it, it, it's not first of all, this is this is what we're here to do. This is what we're here to do. What we're going to do right now is I am going to take the moment to let all of you know about each other. We're going to start with Charles. Charles VZ is a very fun streamer. I met him pretty recently uh, and have been enjoying watching him play uh, some shooters recently. Uh, most recently, Doom Eternal. Very, very fun game. Hi, man. Thanks for that. You didn't have to do it? No, of course I don't have to do it, but I'm here for you guys. I'm here for you guys just as much as you guys are here for me. So, um, if you like shooter games, um, if you like a good, chilled, like laid back kind of kind of stream with action-y games, uh, check out Charles VZ. Second of all, We're going to get really this is what we're going to do. I have to wait a minute and 30 seconds between shout outs. Come on. <laughs> well, I, I don't have time for this. <laughs> uh, let's see. But anyway. You guys, it, let me let me go back to two years ago, three years ago now, actually. Okay, so let's talk for a little bit about why I'm here, how long I've been here, what we're going towards, and um, you know the general idea, because I have to state it every few months or so, you know, for new people that come in and and decide to hang out. Um, I started streaming back in 2001 um actually 2020 did i say 2001 or 2021 anyway 2021 but really my first stream was was in 2020 and uh you know it was just me and my friend on a Discord call, screwing around, and I played old games, and it was fun. And then I got into Destiny 2, and things started to grow a little bit. Destiny 2 was was definitely a good thing to do at the time. Um, if anyone remembers the Beyond Light expansion, um, that's like really, really when, when Destiny 2 kind of took off got really big you're a hunter main i am a void warlock 
and a uh, Stasis Titan. I love Stasis Titan with all my heart. It's broken as fuck. <laughs> um, hell yeah, Warlocks are war machines. Absolutely they are. Like... They can be untouchable if you build them right. Um, but, you know, if you build them wrong, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> Warlock's a touchy. Uh, and then you have, like, the Sunbracer uh, solar build. That's, that's a, that's a one-man army in a, in a dungeon. Um, I love Warlock. But anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. I could talk about Destiny all day. But um so I started growing with the with the Destiny 2, and then we started branching out into like some retro stuff and and went out in other directions. And um that is when I met what? That's when I met Groucho. There we go. Groucho marks one. Groucho is one of my oldest friends. Uh, online met him in a Destiny 2 guild uh, that we, we were both in. He would sit in the Discord alone in the voice chat for hours. And no one would ever go in there. Everybody was just chatting up a storm, but no one would ever go into the voice channel. And so one day I just walked into the voice channel and I started talking to Groucho and Groucho has become one of my best friends in the world. Um, older guy lives all the way across the Atlantic from me, but I just don't know what I'd do without him at this point. Groucho is... Just a really cool, really down to earth, <laughs> real guy. And he's he's kind of like that that favorite grandpa kind of guy. Um, I love Groucho. Groucho loves to stream Diablo 3. And every now and then you'll see him pick up uh Valheim or another survival game. Uh very chill streams. Um, very talkative, loves to get in there with chat. And sometimes when the chat's really just rolling, time flies in there. It's just a really fun stream. So Groucho, this one's for you. Uh, you guys check out Groucho if you get the chance. He's just good people. Um, so I met Groucho playing in this guild or this clan, and um, nobody was ever talking to him, and I got to play with him and started talking to him, and he became one of my, like, every-time fire team members. Uh, he's a great player and just really fun to talk to and be around. Uh, so I got in and talked to him, and that's when I started streaming my raids. And met some other people that we had a we had a clan with for a while uh really really fun people um so about that time i lost my job um some shit went down and uh i ended up on unemployment during the covid pandemic for about 6 months and so while I couldn't get a new job and I was on unemployment, I said, you know what, let's let's see what we can do with the streaming thing and and take it to the next level. So I started putting in the time, putting in the effort and and really working on creating a channel that was a fun place for everybody that uh, anybody could come in, have a good time, pick up wherever we were and not feel left out, you know, Um which is what I'm kind of still doing today. This is by no means a safe space. Anything goes in here as long as we can talk about it respectfully. 
um i go into a lot of these channels and there's just there's this list of rules 50 miles long and they all say the exact same thing know this know that know this uh profiling know this ism know this uh anti whatever and it's just like People are going to be people. You got to let them be people. As long as they can do it respectfully, let them talk about it. Because things get interesting and more fun when you talk about stuff instead of saying, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. And I'm not talking bad about any streamer uh, or anyone in particular. I'm just saying every stream has no, 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 no. And if you look at my rules, it says, don't be a dick. And eat a whole bunch of pizza. Um, <laughs> it's that simple. Come in, be nice. I shouldn't have to be specific. If you're not nice, you're going to get booted, and I don't need a reason. It's, it's, it's that simple. Exactly, Charles. It, it, facts. It's, it's just as simple. Be nice. Hang out. Have a good time. And if you want to talk about it, talk about it. I like politics. I like religion. I think the fact that there are so damn many of them gives us a lot to talk about. It is. It is common sense. Uh, now, I'll tell you something about common sense. Common sense is common sense because it's common. Good sense is what's kind of rare. <laughs> um, so where was I? We tangented it off. We did a Jamesy tangent. Now I'm lost. <laughs> Um, good community we're in a good community where we come in we hang out we do our thing we have a good time and that's how we how we got to growing and it was a lot easier during the pandemic a lot easier a lot lot easier because people were home people didn't have much to do twitch was a thing like twitch was a real thing in 2020 2021 um and um, so we really started growing. Like there was real growth on this channel during that time. Um, and then I met some really, really amazing people. And then I also met some complete losers. I'm not going to sugarcoat that. Um, there were some absolute losers. Uh, and... You, you know, you can't really separate people out on the spot. So what I did is we had a little blow up here at home. Uh, my wife broke her foot. Um, things happened. It got really tough here. And I stopped streaming because, I mean, like, we all needed more attention here at home. And uh, so I just kind of dropped off a of Twitch for a while. And and there were a lot of people that were just like, holy crap, where'd this guy go? I did say something. I, you know, I had the Discord up and and we did that. You know, I said goodbye in, in, in a lot of ways to to a lot of people. But um, I was gone for two, two years, two and a half years almost. Uh, I was just non-existent on Twitch. But... Um, back in, I think it was February, I decided, Hey, let's give this another go. I had gotten another job. I worked for a while. Um, and then I lost that job. And so I became our stay at home parent here because we had just, when I lost the, my previous job, we found out three weeks later that Lyle was pregnant again. Um, so that was great timing, right? Great timing. Um, so I became the stay-at-home parent. She went on maternity leave uh, for a little while, and I started doing DoorDash, which has really... It's not great, but it's helpful. Um, so I've been the stay-at-home parent, and I decided, you know, maybe we could give this another go. We'll try again. And so here we are doing our thing again. And what I decided to do was mothball the community. I redid all of my layouts. I rebranded. Um, I've always been the Mediterranean, but it used to be Meds Misadventures. It is now the Invasion and the Mothership. Um, and I 
deleted all of the channels that I follow and all the chan all of the viewers, all of the streamers, all of the everything that followed me. And I started over from zero. So here we are six months down the road and we are almost back to 100 followers, which I think is absolutely phenomenal. I think we've had some really great growth um, and it's all good people. The reason I mothballed the channel is the losers that I was telling you about. There were, I'm not saying that there weren't some really great people. Respect, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, there are some really great people, and what I wanted to see was those really great people come back, and they did. All of the people that I really enjoyed having in the community the last time I streamed, they've come back. Not all of them, but many of them have returned to the channel and they said hey you dumped me or hey you were gone and you know and i'm like i've explained this story i was gone i mothballed everything and started over because i wanted to see what i could rebuild and this time i feel like the community is much more positive much more uh, chatty, much more outgoing, much more friendly to each other. And that's something that I want to keep going. So in that regard, we have another shout out to give here. Somebody who has always been a fantastic human being, Dardoon. Uh, I ran into Dardoon towards... Well, I, I, I was kind of a part of his community um, for a while, but really more active towards the end of my previous engagement streaming. So when I mothballed everything, um, Dardoon was one of the ones that I missed a lot and um, was really, really happy when we were able to reconnect when I came back. Dardoon is a very genuine human being. And I was uh, a little disheartened because Dardoon actually uh, was off for a couple months while he moved. Uh, and he was gone, like gone, gone. And uh, I was like, I don't know if he's going to come back. And so when he did... I was like, oh my god, he's back! Um, Dardoon loves to do community gaming. Uh, so if you're into, like, playing with the streamer, doing party games, he does a lot of stuff like uh, Halo. We used to play Splitgate. Splitgate, like, this. Splitgate 2 is coming out soon. Don't know if he'll do it. Hopefully he does. I think Splitgate's awesome. But Halo, uh, party animals. Um, we used to... Uh, we used to do stream stream racer before each stream. That was always fun. Uh, if you've never seen stream racer, that's always fun. It's kind of like, um, kind of like marbles on stream, well, but a little different. Um, but uh, really fun community based uh, stream and very fun to like join in. So that's what Dardoon's about. Um, all the getting together and playing with the community. And that's always fun because that creates that nice tight knit, close friendships that you don't always see. So Dardoon, another fantastic streamer, definitely give him a shot. If you're into very chatty, very active um, community and party gaming. So those are my shout outs for now. I think did I miss anybody? I don't think so. I think we're good. Oh, wait. Yes. One more. <laughs> there we go. Space robot arm. Guys. Very genuine. Very, very friendly. Space robot arm. A man of my own heart. Loves the retro games. We love doing retro. Um, very chill, very laid back. 
I like a good vibe, and Space Robot Arm has the good vibe. Um, very chill. Great Discord community. Really active. Um, and loves to talk about classic gaming. And that's just amazing. Honored to be counted amongst the legends. Hey, you're, you're all legends in, 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 to me. Um, I love hanging out with all of you guys. I love being part of your community. I love having you guys in here. I, we got to share the love around, you know what I mean? So let's, you know, this was my little, this was my shout out time. I, I want to try and be more supportive like I used to be. We've, we've finally gotten to a point in, in the community and on this stream where I can take the time to let you guys get to know each other as well. And that's what I liked to do before. And it's been tough to do while I've been rebuilding, rebranding, resetting up my layouts. Like I've had so much crap on my mind <laughs> to do that it's that it's been hard to, you know, take care of everything and focus on what I've been doing. And today. Uh, and now that we've gotten back into like our themed months, last month we did uh, Space t space Timber. Now we're into Spooktober. I can focus. Like I can actually get you guys in here and chat. And we've got our sound alert set up. We've got our emotes finally where I want them to be. And I feel better again about the stream about the community and it's time to it's time to share the love again so and we're getting ready to go into ads as a matter of fact with ads coming up it's almost 3 30 we've had a good run today we just hit a save point um i'm gonna go ahead let's let's do our raid out we're going to snooze those ads. And we're going to go ahead and we're already here on the chatting screen. Um, I've been having a good time with this, but the boys are going to be home from school in about 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll get back on this on Wednesday. Let's go say hi to somebody who's doing a good spooky tober thing. Let's see. Do 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 ba da ba da ba da. HLG. I've not seen HLG in a, in a in a hot minute. He's playing Resident Evil Seven Biohazard. Drop follows to the SOs. Thank you very much, Charles. Thank you for the GGs. Let's all stick around for just a minute, and we're going to go say hi to Hot Local Grandpa. Uh, he is a <laughs> very spirited guy, uh, very fun, and we're going to go watch some Resident Evil 7 with HLG today. So here is... I can type, I swear. I wish I could type in HLG. I don't have my mods in here today. Uh, they uh, <laughs> they are absent today. Isn't it always the case when I'm when I'm trying to do all the big stuff? But hey, wouldn't be a Twitch stream if you didn't have issues. Thank you all for coming in today. Thank you for being part of the raid to Hot Local Grandpa today. Uh, we are going to be back with more Bloodstained on Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, I had wanted to get more done. Thanks for the stream and thanks for sharing the story. Absolutely, you're welcome. Uh, we like to have a good time in here. Thanks for coming in and hanging out with us today. Thanks for listening to my rambling. Um... I was about to start saying something and then I tangented it off. James E. Tangents everywhere today. Um, 
we're going to be back with more Bloodstain on Wednesday. Uh, thank you all for coming in and always being a great part of the community, as always. Until we meet again, y'all stay frosty and happy invading aliens. <laughs>